When using a microscope, you're observing a specimen through two different lenses, the eyepiece lens and the objective lens. To work out the magnification of the microscope, you need to multiply the magnification of the eyepiece lens by that of the objective lens. So if your microscope had an eyepiece lens that was times 10 and an objective lens of times 40, then the total magnification would be times 400. In an exam, you may also get asked to work out the magnification from a diagram of a cell. And for this, you'll need to be able to use the equation magnification equals the size of the image divided by the size of the real object. In this diagram of the cell, there's a scale bar, and we can use this to work out the size of the real object as it's labeled as 0.2 millimeters. You then need to work out the size of the image, and for this, you're gonna need a ruler. You measure the distance accurately, and here you can see that it's five centimeters. It's important though to make sure that the units are the same as the image size, and so we will use 50 millimeters. Putting them into the equation, you can see that the magnification is 250 times. As well as using the magnification equation, you may also be asked to manipulate it, which you can do by rearranging or using the formula triangle. In this question, you're given the image of a red blood cell, which is two millimeters in diameter, and you're told that this was drawn using a microscope with a magnification of times 100 and you need to work out the size of the real object. To do this, you need to rearrange the formula like so. Putting the numbers in to solve the equation, you can see that the size of the real red blood cell is 0.02 millimeters. Now that you've seen some examples, try some for yourself at revisingscience.com. And remember, always check when undertaking magnification calculations that you're using consistent units for both image size and the size of the real objects. Examiners will sometimes give them as different units to keep you on your toes.